me what's your name and what you do. Delicious Gem Peter. I make handmade toys, pop culture, hip hop, action figures, 80s, 90s reference, and a little bit of hip hop sneaks in there as well. Frank, but my shop is kind of a uh, worm world sculpture, and yeah, I sculpt creature bursts, resin kits, and monsters and stuff, mostly dragon busts, I'd say. Hand sculpted, molded, and cast by myself. We're the Toy Bunker, we make resin toys, all hand sculpted, sculpy. We're kind of collectors ourselves, and we collect a lot of Japanese vinyl. We like the bright colours, we like the simple details, nothing too detailed, nothing too horror, nothing too extreme. Toy Bunker is essentially something that we do, it's a friendship thing more than anything. It's like, as you get a little bit older, it's hard to spend, find things to do together. So this is just a hobby to us that um, we use to express ourselves and get things out there, really. Uh, the Toy Bunker is a little bit more literal, because obviously we do a lot of things in the basement, which is underground, so it is a literal Toy Bunker. You know, maybe one day, That'll all be that's left. My house will be gone, but the bunker will remain, and these toys will be in there like some kind of weird crypt. <laughs> George Gaspar, I do Double G Toys now. Um, I also do a couple of podcasts online called Marsham Toy Hour, you can listen to, and Toy Geeks, where you can watch us on YouTube. What do you think of the UK toy scene? Because you're not from here. I can tell by the accent. I am not from here. No, I'm from the US. Um, this is a great, this show is the first one I've been to out here. Never been to the UK before. This is the first really? time, yeah. And uh, I'm really glad we were able to come to this show because it's so many talented artists here, and it's like, it's, it's, it reminds me of years ago when we first had Decon started, Designer Con, and it was like a real small, in one little room, and everybody was together and like super talented. And this is kind of what it is. This was like what it was back then, so it's a real nice feeling here. My girlfriend was here last year and she, she said the difference and the, the growth of it has been super impressive. And I, I've certainly noticed that, you know, I've sold a lot of stuff, so it's been really good. She's Toy second year here? second year, yeah. Um, only started last year as well and it's been absolutely awesome. Like some of the artists that are here, well actually all the artists that are here, absolutely awesome. The collectors, uh, the sellers, the makers, seeing new designs, new ideas, uh, collaborating, giving giving away stuff to each other, We're giving each other toys, key rings, wrist, wristbands, you name it, it's been absolutely awesome. It's like a big family, it's amazing, there's no there's no ego, there's no ego at all, it's, it's great. Oh, it's a really nice, friendly, um, just friendly group of people, I mean like, I, I, I came today not knowing really many people and everyone's kind of come over and talked and asked how my shop is doing and vice versa and it's just, yeah, really friendly and approachable, nice. Uh, you, there's tons of us and it's growing it's absolutely it's just fun isn't it it's just making toys and yeah